Okay. I'm exhausted today. Um, I have my fountain pop and my picking basket and my helper, Arlo. Are you going to help me? Nice job. We need to take those eggshells to the garden. We had a buildup of eggs. So we brought, well, my husband brought them out to um, the chickens yesterday. So we are, or the, not the chickens, the dogs. So they ate them, cracked them open, and they don't like the shells. So we're collecting those, and we're going to throw them right back into the garden. And then I'm also going to um, go out and pick some stuff. I'm going to pick some herbs. It's kind of looking like it might rain. It's been raining every day. Um, there's a couple dark clouds, but I'm really hoping that it doesn't because we need to get some stuff done. Oh, oh, don't pour them out. No, no, no. Oh, no. All right, we got to pick them all back up again. You don't want that on your head. Bubba, put it down. Pick them all back up again. Okay, you can obviously tell how that's going. Um, I'm gonna throw my hair up because it is so hot out here. It's actually, today is not terrible, but um, it's been so hot. Usually August and September are really like the hottest months here in Ohio, um, for us anyway, in like the outskirts of Cincinnati. So um, yeah, I'm pretty much like cannot ever leave my hair down at all. It's pretty long and I just get way too hot and end up sweating forever. So I'm going to get back to this before it turns into a way bigger mess than it already is. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Look at these tomatoes that I found. These two are like, it's like they're one tomato and they grew together, <laughs> but it's actually two. They were on the same like stem. I thought that was weird. I've never seen that before. This tomato is the first almost perfect tomato that I've picked that has a very small amount of splitting, no actual real splitting um, issues. And I'm very excited. <laughs> Look what I just found. Peppers! When I thought all hope was lost. I have some peppers, so that's really exciting. These, on the other hand, not doing the greatest. This is my garden salsa pepper, and it actually is growing, so in this box. Can you reach them? Can you get them? Do you need help? Let's see if I can scoot them forward. One. More. Oh, give them to mommy. Two. <gasps> don't throw them. <laughs> no, don't throw them. That was three. Can mommy have it? Four, five, good job. Six, perfect. Can you reach them? Seven. Eight, oh. Eight. I can't believe none of these have cracked. Nine. Is that all? Be careful. Good job. Is that all that's in there? Okay. I'm out picking tomatoes. These aren't perfect, and I'm probably going to set them on the table on the side porch. And I'm kind of debating if I should pick this guy because he looks just so perfect. And I kind of want to leave it for another day or two but then like I'm gonna be so sad if this if it splits but my weeds have gotten bad again and I'm need, needing to pull them back I, I think it's been one week since I
pulled about one week since I pulled weeds. Um, and they're already back to being weedy again. So, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna check on these peppers. Look what I saw peeking through all of these leaves. A bunch of ripening tomatoes. Look how perfect they look. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, it's nine o'clock. We just got finished eating dinner. I'm not about to take these pickles to the chickens because unfortunately we had pickles last year that I had kind of experimented with, um, with like lime soaks and such. And um, they, the ones that I didn't lime soak are not crunchy anymore. Um, but the ones that I did are still crunchy a year later. So, um, that's really a good thing but unfortunately a lot of my bread and butter chips are um, bad <laughs> just to put it plain so they're squishy so I'm gonna give them to the chickens and I'm really bummed about it because I put a lot of work into those pickles last year and I was excited to have so many but I think the reality is that we just don't eat as many pickles as like I thought we were it's like the first year we didn't have very many pickles so then the next year and I didn't do them that well to where they stayed super crunchy so then like the next year I was like yeah I want to have a ton of pickles oh lord so then the next year I was like, yeah, I want to have a ton of pickles this year. And, um, so I made a ton last year because I thought we would use them. And I was trying to experiment to figure out what's the best way for me to actually pickle. And then, um, so, oh, so many bugs and I almost just tripped and died. So then, um, this year, I'm kind of bummed because I only did a lime soak once, a pickling lime soak on one of the um, bread and butter chips and then um, three cans of dill chips. So I'm kind of bummed about that, but um, the rest of them I did do extra crunch, so at least I remembered that part. And we'll just have to use those extra crunch ones first, because I don't think it's as effective as soaking them in the lime. But yeah, those are gone. And I think it's also going to be a weekend project for me to um, go ahead and go through all of that stuff in my pantry, figure out what we're going to keep. And what we not are we are not going to keep and it's also a weekend project for me to look at that there's light it's almost like it's not 9 p.m um it's also a weekend project for me to can a few new things i want to can some vegetable soup and i want to can some um i want to do like a beef roast but i don't think i'll have enough supplies to do that um in like the next two days but I also have some frozen deer roast still from our deer um, I think uh, two years ago um, and I think I'm gonna take it out tenderize it and brown it and I might can that as um, a roast so I don't know or not roast beef stew but I guess it's ro roast too but whatever um, so those are my plans for this weekend but I also have so much other stuff to do I need to clean up this back porch from where Roscoe got into um, some freezer bags that I had opened when I had un, um, unzipped some chicken and then so that was a bummer because he just freaking chewed the bags. I think he's been chewing stuff, which is weird because he never chewed anything when we first got him. So I don't know why he's deciding to do that all of a sudden. And then I've got this chicken back here and I really need to do something with that like ASAP tomorrow morning. Um, it's like chicken that we had from um, the freezer that was kind of going bad. 
so we were going to give it to the dogs and they're just not eating it the way I thought they would. So I think I'm just going to chuck it out back in the backfield because the stuff that's already open and then I don't know what I'm going to do with the other stuff because they're not eating it and I really don't want to keep it that long. So that is today. It is Friday. So tomorrow, Saturday, I did a Kroger order for groceries and unfortunately my order got um, backed up and they said that I could pick it up at 5 p.m. I put it to pick up for pickup at 3 p.m. I wonder if I can, I need a, like a thing that I can set y'all places so we can talk. Maybe we'll just talk in the side by side. Can I do that? Please don't fall. Oh, can I get in here? So, I did a Kroger order, but um, I usually make it to where I can pick it up at 3 p.m. Because I, from 3 to 4, because they do those windows, because I get off work at 3. And so, by the time I make it to the Kroger, I go to it's like 3.15. So, I was going to do that. Um, and I had it all planned out, and I put all the groceries in my cart on the app last night. And I was all excited, because I got bread flour and whole wheat flour, and... I've got the stuff to make a sourdough starter, like, I was just getting excited. So, um, I want to start making us loaves of bread every week, because I'm like, why, I mean, from what I understand, it's pretty easy, so why am I not doing it, you know? So, um, I don't know if I'm going to do sourdough bread every week, or if I'm going to just try, um, a lazy yeast bread recipe, um, I don't know, but that was my goal with that, and I got the stuff to do vegetable soup to process that. I need to process chicken broth tomorrow morning. I've got that in the crock pot cooking right now. That's my favorite way to do chicken broth, by the way. It's um, in a crock pot, or if you have a roaster, if you have that much to can. Um, I've got wing tips in there from when we processed our last chickens. I've been saving the wing tips and the feet and just like random odds and ends. Um, and then anytime we use chicken thighs, I'll take the bones and the skins and use that for chicken broth. So, um, I just did four quarts the other day from the bones from the chicken thighs I cooked, um, two weeks ago. And then, um, tomorrow I'll probably have four quarts again, maybe a little bit more because wing tips don't take up as much space and I don't have as much, um, vegetables. Squirt's eating that chicken. At least he's eating it, I guess. My goodness. Um, but anyway, so that's my plan is tomorrow morning I gotta wake up and go get my groceries. And then Ashlyn wants to go with me, so maybe we'll video, maybe I'll video with her for the first time. And y'all can see her. And um, she's gonna, how'd you get out? Where's Roscoe? She's going to go with me to pick up my groceries. I'll probably have Arlo with me because I'm sure he'll be awake. And I think I'll also have to stop by Home Depot and pick up an order for Michael because we have to raise our mailbox. Our darn postal service has decided that we have our mailbox is too low. So we have to raise our mailbox up. I was trying to figure out where Roscoe was. I'm afraid if he eats too much of that chicken that he will um, be pooping in my house. <laughs> but, um, what was I even saying? See, this is why I can't do all these talking things. But yeah, I'll probably have Arlo with me. Oh yeah, my oh, postal service. So, um, boys, Roscoe, leave him alone. My postal service has told us that our mailbox is too short. So I have to go get posts and raise it. Um, which I didn't even know that was a thing. I guess old farmhouse mailboxes used to be short. But the downside is that our mailbox is connected to our neighbor, neighbor's mailboxes. To two of them. So there's a three. It's like a post with three of them on it. So I don't know if Michael's going to raise all three of them or if he's just going to raise ours. I don't know. But um, So I have to get the stuff to do that. We have such a busy weekend planned and I'm going to take you along for it. So get ready, because I started vlogging yesterday, and it was Thursday. I think I'm just going to do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'll probably edit it and put it up Monday. Um, 
and it'll probably be a lot of footage like it might be I might have to break it up um, but I didn't film that much yesterday and I think my video was like four minutes long or something when I like put it all together so I was like I'll just combine it um, and hopefully it's not too crazy long for you guys I can tell though that this video is already nine minutes and I think I'm gonna have to edit it into clips because um, I'm not a perfect human but um, yeah we have a lot planned I have to clean out a freezer that black freezer that you guys saw me defrost the other day I have to clean that out and then I need to like completely do a reorganization because the white freezer that we have needs to be defrosted and cleaned because I don't think it's ever been and Michael's had that for a long time before I got with him and we've been together four years so um, that needs cleaned out really bad and then um, I have to do my canning project so canning clean the freezer organize the freezer stuff I don't want to organize my cans in my pantry and um, I need to pick in the garden my tomatoes are starting to um, turn so that's so exciting but I really need to pick herbs and I'll probably hang them I want to hang them and dry them I think I mean I need to look into it and maybe watch a video or um, Google like what um, is the best way because I've been doing it in the oven and I don't hate it but I kind of feel like it takes a little while and then I also wonder about like the taste because um, my basil smells good but I just wonder about the taste of it when I'm cooking with it later and if you know how long it will actually last me so um, yeah that's what I need to do tomorrow and I think in general I just need to do some meal prepping oh and laundry lord I have so much laundry I've just let it pile up all week long I actually have some that I need to go switch inside right now but I just kind of was wanting to take this breather to chill out what in the world is that noise that's the weirdest noise it sounds like I don't know some of these tires are like Oh, no, that's loud. Hope somebody's car's okay. Sounds like they couldn't stop down the hill. But anyway, I was just. Good morning, everyone. It's actually not the morning anymore. It's the afternoon, and I am cleaning. Um, I'm just tidying up outside because Sai is mowing. So I'm picking up all the things that he might run over and then I'm going to start cleaning out my pantry and I have to finish putting groceries away. So that's the plan right now. <laughs> Hi. He's watching Elmo. I'm going to turn it down for a second so I can video for you guys. Um, okay, I'm on my way to Lowe's and I have to exchange all the stuff that we got for um, the mailboxes. So our post office said that our mailboxes are too low because they're just kind of old fashioned. So we have to raise them up or else they're going to hold our mail. So I have to exchange them because the mailbox posts that we got um, are still too um, short. So I have to go to Lowe's to do that. I'm going to make a stop somewhere because we need ketchup and we need ketchup and ranch and we also need, um, I was going to get some Olive Garden dressing, but I'm just not real sure. Usually I get those things at Sam's and I'm just not real sure if there's a Sam's where um, I'm going because I do have to go to um, Kentucky and it's really not that much farther than like anywhere else we kind of live in a central spot where like within a however mile many mile radius of us there's like we could go a bunch of different directions and hit like a lot of the same stores yeah what are you eating You want me to turn up your movie? <laughs> so, 
so um I am going to Highland Heights your movie okay I'll turn it up so I'm going to Highland Heights because that's where they had the stuff yesterday that's where I had to go yesterday so now I have to go and exchange those things over there and um so I'm just not sure what's going to be around there I know there's a target like on my way home so I might stop at target I do want to get a container for my sourdough starter so I might go to target get our sauces and get my sourdough starter container and you know I actually need two totes because um his clothes are I have like three different sizes in his room right now and I need to go through them and um put them in totes and um put them in the shed but I don't have totes. The totes that I the tote that I had got broken and it's cracked and it's been sitting on my back porch because it's cracked. So I need to take the clothes that are in it out of it and replace that tote. And then I also need another tote for I believe it's nine to twelve nine to twelve months maybe. Um because I think that I have way too many clothes to fit in the one tote that I have in the shed already for that size. So I don't know, I might I might, depending on the prices and what kind of time I'm making I might venture over there and grab those just while I'm out anyway um, and I'm gonna try and make it back in enough time that I can get back and um, tie up my tomatoes until the rest of the garden before um, it rains so I know I had videoed and told you guys like our plans for the weekend and we didn't get all of those plans done we got, um, I've gotten quite a few things done, but I still have a lot to do today. I canned chicken broth. I cleaned the porches off. I went to Lowe's and got the stuff for the mailbox. And um, that was yesterday. And I cleaned and I did make some progress on laundry. So I did, I believe, three loads of laundry and folded and put away yesterday, which two of those were towels. So um, then... Um, what else? So, this morning I folded a load of clothes, and I have another load of clothes in the dryer, and then all that's left to wash are sheets. I have to put our bedding in when I get home, um, and then this morning I also just unloaded the dishes while Arlo and I ate breakfast. We had some fruit and some yogurt, and he had a little bit of, um, one of the crumble cookies that we had left, because he loves those. So that's kind of the um so far the plan for today it is looking quite gloomy outside and i'm so irritated because i i had checked the weather and i um what are you laughing at i thought that um i thought that it was not supposed to rain today he's cracking himself up I thought that it wasn't supposed to rain today and then last night michael was like it's supposed to pour down rain tomorrow so now we're like, oh my gosh, we're trying to hurry to get all the things done. We were looking forward to a rain-free weekend because it has been so rainy around here. And it's, you know, we love the rain because we need it for the garden. And it's so nice to not have to water. But at the same time, it's really nice to get a break too so we can get the things that we need to get done. So, um, I just have to try and hurry while I'm, you know, gone. I probably should have left a little bit earlier, but I didn't really have anything to wear. So, I had to fold and sort the laundry first. And I had to get breakfast in him and I ended up getting stuck like tidying up a little bit of the kitchen when I was doing breakfast so you know it, this is just the way that the cards fell this morning so um here we are trying our best so I'm going to get off of here I'm gonna run my errands and I will check back in with you soon all right guys I made it back I just got home I don't know where um Michael and Sai are, I know Sai, Sai literally woke up this morning at like, I don't even know, it was like seven something, and he was like, I think I'm gonna go out and mow, and I was like, it's really early, and he was like, yeah, but it was supposed to rain starting at seven, he's like, it's not raining, so I'm going out, so that was really cool of him to continue mowing for his dad, so, um, I mean, it's kind of a, a chore, like, he kind of actually had to do it, um, because he owed Michael, but, um, it's cool to see 
him kind of growing up and not complaining about doing stuff like that anymore and actually being self-motivated to get it done. So I just laid the baby down and I actually have to really watch the monitor um, because so once I get done with this video, that's probably all that I'll have on my phone because yesterday was the first day that he got out of the crib by himself and I want to watch and see how he does it. But I did want to quickly show you guys. These are the plants that I got yesterday. It is kind of raining out here. It's like it's stopped, but I don't, I don't think it's forever done. So um, I got my mom and I these heart to heart plants and then I got some cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, and something else and then um I got some romaine lettuce heads and then I got rosemary and some lavender because I don't know treat yourself right like I just really gotta kind of liked the um heart to hearts I thought those were pretty and I thought it would look pretty on my porch and then um none of my rosemary has come up in the past two years I don't think I'm doing it right I need to start it earlier but um so that's why I got that but I was just going to come out here and check on my raised bed and check in my garden before I start doing stuff inside. I really was going to check up with Michael and see if he needed me to do anything, but I have no idea where they are. Um, it looks like Cy blew some grass into my raised bed, which is not the end of the world. Um, so I have some weeds to pick, um, which is okay. That is, those over there are radishes of some sort. And then these guys are beets, if you can see through the grass. And then these over here are supposed to be scallions, but I think they take a little bit longer to come up. And then I had carrots right here, but I kind of think that my carrots, I don't know if they're going to come up. I need to look at what they're supposed to look like. I thought that this one right here was a carrot but I'm really not sure so I need to look into that and then I had some parsnips you can see a rogue seed I had some parsnips um in right in here and I don't know if they're gonna come up either but um so that's the story with that I think these radishes are finally getting big enough to pick I wanted to leave all of these radishes um to be picked when they were really big because I've been kind of picking them when they were smaller and I just don't really feel like we get as much use out of them. And then my other project for this week is I need to pick all of this um, basil and this still and I need to really do something with it to preserve it. I kind of wanted to preserve it in salt but I wasn't sure. Oh, there's Michael back at the barn. Okay. Guys, look at what we found in the garden. Some corn smut. And I will take you along with me when I figure out what I'm going to do with this. And then also, look at this ginormous chicken egg. That's a chicken egg. That's a triple yoker, gotta be. Because I think this one is a double yoker. If it's not, I'll be really surprised. But that's gotta be a triple. These are all from yesterday. These are all from today. And then I have like three more 18 curtains in there and a dozen. So I'm going to need to figure out some meal prepping for um, breakfast this week. All right, y'all. I'm really not feeling like doing anything. So I'm going to hide out in the laundry room for um, a couple minutes. Eat this ice cream to recharge. And then I might make Lord. And then I might make a coffee. And then I'm gonna get back at it. I did the dishes and now I need to finish some laundry and start back up on um, some preserving. So. Okay, I'm exhausted and I don't wanna do anything today, but um, I'm gonna make myself a coffee and keep trucking on. And maybe take some ibuprofen because my feet and my back are killing me after yesterday. Um, and then I'm going to start on my vegetable soup. Okay, <clears throat> even though I didn't feel like it and still don't feel like it, I went through all of this past year, so 2021 and 2022, 
whatever I had left from there of my canned goods. Don't mind the dust on the top. Um, some of them still really need cleaned. But um, I went through and cleaned this whole pantry area and um, these are all pickles. Um, some of them are from last year and then it's pretty well half and half from last year and this year. And then I've got in the back some mango habanero sauce that I made and then some cowboy candy and then some relish and some salsa up here in the front. One last jar of pasta sauce and then my one jar of okra that I made um, this past week. And then down here I've got all my chicken broth and you can kind of see like all back there. There's chicken broth. And then on this side is this year's chicken broth and those two jars are... Um, diced tomatoes that I need to use in the next couple weeks. Now, what I'm going to do is um, start organizing all three of these shelves. Um, when Michael made this, he made it with, you know, it was supposed to be enough space for us to, to keep all of our food. And, and it is, it's plenty of space for all of our food. But it also then became like storage for my canned goods because we don't really have anywhere else that's like a really suitable place to keep them. I don't mind these fruit flies. I've got to try and get rid of those today. Um, but so, you know, these two bottom shelves are like my potatoes and onions and oil and um, like bulk storage. Big things, I think I'm going to move these vinegars like down to the bottom um, in the back. And the only reason they were up here is because last year I had so much chicken broth and stuff that I couldn't fit them no longer down there on the floor. And that's probably how it's going to be this year as well because all of my pasta sauce, I mean, you guys can tell this shelf is pretty well taken up. Um, so all of my pasta sauce will, I mean, actually back here by the mango um, sauce, there's, you know, some room right back there. But all of my that stuff that I have coming still will be... Um, mostly on this bottom shelf, so I might actually just keep this stuff up here, but it needs reorganized um, 100%, so that's going to be my next task, but for right now, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take this stuff to the chickens, and I know that looks like a lot, and it kind of is, and it does kind of bum me out, but it is a lot of the pickles, like I was telling you guys a little bit ago, it's a lot of the pickles that were like trial and error that I was trying to you know, learn what was the best way for me to can them. And then it's also um, banana peppers from two years ago and um, jalapenos that I canned from two years ago. And both of those turned out um, mostly squishy. So we didn't actually really eat very many of them. So, um, yeah, that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break. I'm going to clean up my mess. I'm going to vacuum. And clean up this whole area. I need to put some potatoes in the smoker. That's why those are out. Michael just put ribs in the smoker. So I'm going to do that. And then um, I'm probably going to start the vegetable soup going. Um, I mean, it's 2 o'clock. I guess I actually probably have time to do that. But um, yeah, so I'm going to figure out I'm gonna figure out what I'm going to do. But I'm going to take a break for this, from this for a second. And then come back to it and start reorganizing.
if I have added all my ingredients to my vegetable soup except for my meat. And I'm just waiting on that to finish pressure cooking. I have 22 minutes left. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut up the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna keep these, um, these, and uh, these little celery leaves all for um, broth. Okay, good morning guys. Um, I'm currently at work and I just wanted to do like an ending to my weekend vlog because I kind of started to do an ending to the vlog on Monday when I vlogged, um, yesterday when I got home, but I like kept going and then it kind of turned into an introduction for this week's vlog. So um, I just kind of want to like, excuse me, I just kind of want to get on here and do like an over um, view of the weekend with you guys. So. Um, I think I started vlogging on like Thursday or Friday and we, I just was like really kind of overwhelmed. Like I could feel myself like starting to feel run down and I hate when I get to that point, which I don't know if you can kind of hear me, like my allergies are crazy. I usually get allergy shots on um, Fridays because my allergies have been so crazy the past couple years and the allergy shots... I just started them this year and it's made my quality of life so much better so that's kind of like a side note if you're a gardener homesteader or whatever you do if you do anything outside and you have allergies go see an allergist if you have insurance because um, it is very feasible for me to do this treatment and it is so worth it. My quality of life is 10,000 times better and I've been able to spend the whole summer pretty much outside with um, my kids and Michael. So, um, but anyway, I feel really congested. I have been dealing with an infection in my salivary gland and I do have like a salivary stone. I don't, it's kind of swollen because I need to drink some water today um but i you know i know it's pretty rare and most people have never heard of it it's kind of like a kidney stone but it's like in your face and i um have known for quite a few years that i've had this particular um salivary stone and i just didn't really seek treatment for it because i was young when we found it i was like 12 or 13 and i remember like just not wanting to get the surgery at all um because it is a little invasive and there are nerves all around you know this gland so i was really nervous um but now i'm 24 and i've had you know kind of a lot of inconvenience with it and so i'm kind of at the point where i'm just ready to get rid of it and whatever i have to do i'll do so um in the past week or so it caused like a blockage and um that caused like a backup of saliva which caused an infection so i've been dealing with that and getting over that i'm on antibiotic and a steroid for it um and i think like between getting over that plus like i'm having some heightened allergies and then just having so much to do on top of all of that i just was feeling starting to feel really run down and so like Friday and Saturday were really busy days and then like I knew Sunday was going to be busy. I woke up Sunday, I had to go back to Lowe's um, to exchange all the stuff um, and I ended up having to go out both Saturday and Sunday and I remember on Friday I wanted to go out on Friday so that I didn't have to go out all weekend long. Um, so I was really kind of frustrated with the fact that I ended up having to leave the house both days and you know if you live in a rural area like I do you live about an hour from everything like 35 minutes to an hour from everything so um like where I needed to go was like 45 minutes away from me and then that automatically turns into kind of a two-hour trip like minimum so um that is why like when I leave my house 
I try to really like plan it out because it can be frustrating. It's not just a quick errand run when you live far away from those places. So um, it is frustrating to have to run out and go, you know, run errands unexpectedly. So I was already, by Sunday, I was already tired and run down from Friday and Saturday. And then I had to go out that out of the house again on Sunday. And um, then when I came back home, I still had so much to do. I ended up making my vegetable soup, which I think I insert, I will insert some footage of that, but I didn't video everything. Um, and I'm not even sure if I took a picture of like my completed project, completed, gosh, I can't talk. I don't know if I took a picture of my completed product or not. If I do, I'll probably put that in um, at the end of the footage or into um, like my thumbnail. But um, I, so I still, I had to do my vegetable soup and that was such a chore. I didn't expect it to take so long. Um, but it, it did take, you know, quite a bit of time. And then on top of that, I cleaned out my pantry and then my parents ended up coming over and they picked up Arlo and Sai ended up wanting to go with them. So, um, you know, having them for there for a couple hours, I was excited to see them. But I think once you're already like so mentally and physically drained, like I was having a hard time like entertaining them. And I was like, I'm so sorry, I just am so tired. So, I was like knocked out by the time Sunday night came. It was so hard to wake up and go to work Monday. And then um, today is Tuesday and I just wanted to go ahead and film this like as an outro to my weekend, long weekend video footage so that I could provide some explanation because I think as you watch the video, it's gonna seem kind of pieced together. And until I get better at filming um, more footage and having enough stuff to make it look like cohesive and flow, I think that's just going to be how it is. And right now, you know, I've been telling people in my life, like, give me the next six to eight weeks, please, because it's, this is like the busiest time in our lives. Like, anybody who homesteads and gardens knows that, you know, the end of August, well, from the beginning of August until winter comes it's kind of like I feel like that's kind of crunch time you know and school's starting so if you have kids that's you know in conventional school programs that's a lot um so school plus the end of the harvest season and if you work full-time on top of all of that you know like I do it's really hard so um I feel like I'm just constantly exhausted and uh yeah so I'm trying my best so bear with me, hopefully the um, footage that I have isn't too confusing. I'm gonna go ahead and compile my video now and get it uploaded and um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. So stay tuned. <laughs>